In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Minecraft connection timed out error. Now the first thing you always want to try to do is make some adjustments to your firewall settings. To do that, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in control panel just like so. You can do this on any Windows system, then go ahead and press on enter. From here, make sure to select Windows Defender Firewall. Then it is going to give you a screen that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to press on this button that says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Then go ahead and press on that. Then go ahead and press on change settings and essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure that Minecraft is actually not prohibited by the Windows Defender firewall because what could be happening is that the firewall is preventing Minecraft from actually joining servers and therefore causing that error. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you locate Minecraft and you want to make sure that all instances of Minecraft is actually turned on. So please keep that in mind and make sure that public and private are also selected. So as you're able to tell, I already do have all instances of Minecraft selected, but basically you want to double check that everywhere where it says Minecraft that it is actually turned on. And if you're actually experiencing this issue on Minecraft Java Edition, then what you also want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the file Java W. So you should be able to find it right over here. And basically all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just select on all of them just like so. And then once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on OK to actually save your settings. Also, if you do have an antivirus, then that could actually prevent Minecraft from doing its normal functions and causing this error. So if you do have an antivirus, please try to temporarily disable it and then check if Minecraft actually does work because sometimes antiviruses are kind of weird and they don't let you do certain features. So please just keep that in mind. Okay, but if you're you're still running into issues then what we could also do is flush our DNS settings so basically in order to do this all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the command prompt on Windows and there's also command prompts on Mac and Linux as well so you basically want to open it but for Windows it is CMD then you're gonna get something that looks like this and then I want you to go ahead and type in this command IP config then slash flush DNS Go ahead and do that and there we go it'll now say successfully flush the dns resolver cache and this is basically going to clear out the cache and make your system like newer now from here i want you to go ahead and try to actually join servers now and see if it does work all right now we're going to be discussing some other things as well such as your internet connection also you need to make sure that the server you're trying to join is actually valid that it's online and that it's not down for whatever reason and of course you need to make sure you type in the ip and the port correctly because if you do mess those up then it will not work and i know this seems kind of obvious guys but sometimes the obvious stuff goes over our head especially if we've been doing something for so long so i just want you to go ahead and double check the ip and the port as well and also if the server is actually online all right but if none of those things work then what you could do as a last resort is to actually uninstall minecraft and then install it one more time so to do this all you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in apps and features and like i said you should only do this as a last resort and then once you're over here you want to go ahead and just locate minecraft then you want to go ahead and press on uninstall and you should be able to install it again afterwards. But basically this is going to like restart everything in your game and it is going to make your Minecraft game like in a fresh slate. And then after that, you can go ahead and try to join servers. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.